Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to explain some of the options available on the Abetmus report page. The first options we have at the top are the collection period options. Changing the year dropdown will update the date fields underneath to include the whole calendar year. If you want to run the report for a specific period, simply manually update the date fields. The collection type option will change depending on when and who you are reporting to. Generally, you will want to choose the interim collection type unless reporting to NCVER for end of year reporting, in which case you would change this to end of year. The state reporting format should match who you are submitting the data to. For example, if I'm submitting to SVTS, I would choose Victoria. You should always select version 8 reporting format for reporting current students. The NAT 30A checkbox underneath should be deselected when reporting to NCVER. The classes to include field allows you to filter which enrolments should be included based on the state of their Accelerate class. For current reporting, you should leave the Convert NYA Outcomes checkbox selected. The Use Optional ID field checkbox should usually not be selected. This setting will replace the Accelerate generated Avetmus student ID with whatever value is in the Contacts Optional ID. The requirement for this checkbox to be selected would have been discussed during the data migration process if necessary. Note that an imported Avetmus client ID will always be used as first priority if it exists. Students can also be filtered based on the national funding sources against their enrolments. To include all students, simply deselect all funding codes. The following four checkboxes allow further customization of the report. Mouse over the information icons for detailed explanations of each. The filtering options in the bottom part of the Avetmus report page can usually be left blank as they are available for special use cases only. However, allow you to filter the Avetmus report for an enrolment's domain, a specific student, or a specific contract or schedule. Once you've completed your selection, press Run Avetmus Report. You will either be returned to the same page if no results were found, or if there were results with no errors, you will receive a zip file. Most commonly, however, you'll be shown this Avetmus error validation page. This displays pre-validation checks within Accelerate, which would be resolved prior to submitting to your state or national authority. To ignore the errors and download the zip file anyway, select this checkbox at the bottom and press rerun report. To summarize, this video has explained the various filters available on the Avetmus report page. 